very warm welcome to everyone. In the first month of this outbreak, less than 10,000 cases were reported to WHO. In the last month, almost 4 million cases have been reported. We expect to reach a total of 10 million cases within the next week. This is a sober reminder that even as we continue research into vaccines and therapeutics, we have an urgent responsibility to do everything we can with the tools we have now to suppress transmission and save lives. Peter, if you send us an email, we may try to look for... I would characterize the situation in, in the Americas in general and in Central and, and, and Latin America in general as uh, still evolving, uh, not having reached its peak yet, um, and likely to result in sustained number of cases and continued deaths in the coming weeks. Really, I don't think anybody wants to go back to population-wide society-wide lockdowns, but the only way in some circumstances to avoid that now is a very, very, very aggressive investment in our capacity to detect cases, confirm cases, quarantine contacts, and keep our communities on board and willing, able, without coercion, to support clear messaging and clear instructions and requests from government <clears throat> in a trusting environment. Um, I can't stress that enough. COVID-19 press brief. WHO estimates that at the current rate of about 1 million new cases a week, the world needs about 620,000 cubic meters of oxygen a day, which is about 88,000 large cylinders. However, many countries are now experiencing difficulties in obtaining oxygen concentrators 80% of the market is owned by just few companies, and demand is currently outstripping supply. WHO and the UN partners are working with manufacturers across the world through a variety of private sector networks to buy oxygen concentrators for countries that need them most. Hi, thanks very much. Uh, I'm wondering... When we look at dexamethasone and we look, uh, it reduces death rates by one-fifth in people who are already on oxygen. That's great, but by itself, it's not a solution. If we look at remdesivir, it reduces the length of illness in a proportion of patients. That's great, but it's not enough. But if we put different therapies together, different interventions together, and we deliver them in a fair and equi equitable way, uh, then I believe we can do much more. So I think we need to... Uh, and, uh, we are...